Hello there, so today we're going to be playing Probotector. P probo. Pro 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 probing Tector. Probotector. Contra free, but for the European market. Which is actually a pretty good game from back when Konami still wanted to make good games. Just watch this intro and then we'll get started. Wow. It's a bit shitty. Bit rude really when you think about it. I don't come to your city and blow it up, so you know, don't do it with mine. So all these characters were originally oh hang on. Wow, that's a lot of explosions. Yeah, three lives will do. Oh. Yeah, so all the, all the characters were originally people, but then they got changed into robots because apparently that was too violent. People blowing, uh, shooting other people. Which is funny because now we have guys ripping each other's heads off and that's cool but sprite sprite people shooting was somehow considered uh, likely to harm children. That that makes sense. Oh dear. Oh there we go. Oh, let's have a continue. That, that was a bit short. That's where you could uh, choose your character in this. Or maybe I'm thinking of a later one. There's one you can uh, where you run along a highway or something. I think that's on the Genesis. I don't know if it's on the SNES as well. But It does seem bizarre that, like, in the... Oh dear. In the 90s, uh, sprite humans shooting each other with brightly coloured balls was considered likely to destroy the youth. And yet, today we have games, oh dear, games where people can rip each other's heads off and decapitate one another and whatnot, and that's, that's okay. I mean, not that I'm against that sort of thing anyway. I just find it bizarre, double standard. Oh god! Well, that that was shorter than I expected. Sorry about that. I'm not very good at this game. 